let's stay here and focus on Iga Sviantec. John, where are we at with her heading into the U.S. Open now? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I mean, once we moved off the clay of the French Open, when she wasn't just winning matches, I mean, there were stints where she, she was just absolutely unplayable. That 37-match streak, that's one of the great streaks in modern tennis history. And since then, a lot of this is going to be about confidence. Some of this physically, she's probably a little digged up. She'll be the top seed at the Open. But suddenly, after such a dominating stretch, those four months after she became number one, one of the great stretches in tennis history, she really looks mortal now. She'll have 10 days or so, and then we'll see what she can do on the hard courts of New York. Yeah, I think it's been a little bit of a tough stretch for Sviantec. She has lost to players who've been in form, who've, you know, gotten some nice results during this stretch, who, like Madison Keys, can really take the racket out of her hand. But you saw a little bit during that match, Sviantec looked a little uncertain. She looked a little doubtful, kind of backed off, and didn't really match Keys in terms of competing. And that's really what struck out to me, uh, what stuck out to me in that match. All credit to Madison Keys, who played a tremendous match when she needed to. But Sviantec, she just looked a little vulnerable. We'll see how she recovers and regroups for New York. Remember, Iga Sviantec has never been past the fourth round at the U.S. Open last year. Lost to Belinda Bencic.